Season 2 of the Alluvium Airdrop has now concluded and you can now collect your rewards for Season 1 and hopefully soon Season 2 of the Alluvium Airdrop. Now, it has been paused for the month of October so far, but it will hopefully resume in November. So you need to know how to collect your rewards, how the collecting system actually works, because there is a little bit of nuance to it and you don't want to lose valuable ILV token, which is basically money in your crypto wallet. And so I will go through that process right now. All you want to do is you want to go navigate to alluvidex.alluvium.io and you want to go to the top right here and click on your little profile icon. After you click on that, you just click profile. And then once we get there, we go over to the missions dashboard. After we hit that, we can just click on the history button right here. There you go. Click on history and we can see the current season. Now, the rewards have completed for season two, but you won't be able to collect them for a little while. So Alluvium can check, check everything, make sure everything's all good, and then you will be able to do so. So as we navigate across to season one, you can see that with 715,722 points, I earned six ILV. And right below my head here is a collect button. But how does this all work? All ILV rewards are vested for three months from the Alluvium airdrop. Basically, what this means is the minute the airdrop concludes, say it concludes on July 1, and you're able to claim on July 1. On that day, you'll be able to claim 50% of your reward. The issue is if you do that, you will forfeit the remaining 50%. However, if you wait until the three months conclude, so August, September, October 1, no, November 1, I don't know, you get the point. If we wait until it concludes, then you will be able to claim the full amount instead and you will not forfeit anything. So you want to make sure that you are making that correct decision because if, as soon as you claim, you will not be able to get any of that unclaimed ILV back ever. Okay. Once you have ILV, if you want to withdraw it to your account, you will just go to your balances. Um, let me figure this out on the fly. All right. Passport balances. And you will just click this withdraw funds button. All that you will do is you will click on the ILV token. I don't have any, but the process is the same for all of them. For example, if I clicked Ethereum and I click withdraw to Ethereum wallet, I'll just have to click that. And then I will connect a layer one wallet. Make sure it's not your passport wallet. It's just a standard one. Um, I'll go off this while I put in the password. There we go. You will want to con connect your layer one wallet. So my hot wallet, for example, confirm. And then you would just put in the amount, make sure you're connected and everything like that. Put in the amount of Ethereum you want to withdraw or ILV or whatever you want to do and click initiate transfer. This will be the easiest way to withdraw funds. IMX can be a little bit slow. So for ILV, I think some people are reporting us taking over three or four days, maybe a little bit longer. Just be patient. Once it is ready, it will become, it will pop up in your little, uh, in a little thing here. But if you're having trouble, Token Trove does a really good job of it. So I recommend going over there to investigate. So that is how you claim your rewards. That is what you need to know about it. It really is just that simple. It is really is just that easy. But for the next season, it's going to be really interesting because a lot of this stuff is going to go through competitive means instead. Some of it's going to be through the airdrop, but most of it's going to be through actually playing in tournaments, playing on the leaderboard, earning these rewards up front in a little bit of a different manner. So I'm really looking forward to that. Please let me know down below if you're really looking forward to that. And don't forget, if since there's no airdrop this month, you need to check out this next video about earning in Alluvium and what the best strategy is. Have a good one.